but it would be a similar type of a situation where you have the eye there and then you get a little scratch in the actual eye itself yeah so Bentley got into a fight with one of the puppies so uh i'm finna go get his eye checked out make sure they didn't hurt it you know this is my stud you know i gonna make sure my boy always a one always Man, they're packed in there. Huh? It's a full day. Oh, thank God. <laughs> God damn, bro. It's, it's full in there. It's a three hour wait time. But it's all good. We finna wait it out. So let's do it. Ugh. Everyone's staring at me while I'm vlogging, but you know, that's part of the game. So the, the vet that I always go to is Alvarado Veterinary Clinic. <clears throat> You know, they take care of any kind of animal. If you got horses, livestock, whatever, you know, come tap in with them, man. They're very good people. You gonna bite me or... Would he bite me? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm scared of that boy. I'm scared of that boy. Ooh, I touched it. No. All right, that's too much. Letting him use the restroom real quick before we go in. Man, bro, I forgot Saturdays and Sundays are emergency only, so you know, no one wants to pay that fee, so everyone comes in on a Monday. I forgot. I forgot, Ben. Layer, very small little bitty layer there, and that's called the cornea. And so what can happen is they can actually get a scratch right there. So the same thing like with us, mm -hmm. and you know, if you've ever have had a, like a, an eyelash in your eye, how yeah. uncomfortable that can be. That's kind of how it feels for them. Yeah, it can almost be like that, but it's actually a scratch on the actual surface of the eye itself. So let me see if I have a picture. In he there. hasn't been scratching it or bothering him. Good, 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 good. That'll help a lot. But sometimes, they, you know, those little dew claws, sometimes they kind of can do that and even scratch themselves. Yeah. But more often than not, it's like you said, maybe playing with one of the other dogs yeah. or something. Um, my wife scratched her eye. One of our dogs, she's sitting on the couch, and one of the dogs just reached out, like, kind of pet me and just happened to just scratch her eye. It, uh, she said it was one of the most painful things she'd had ever, so... Okay. What she had to have done to her? Drops in the eye, and oh, okay. usually you can get it to heal up with that. So here's a good, um, this is a cat, but it would be a similar type of a situation where you have the eye there, and then you get a little scratch in the actual eye itself. Yeah. And then the front little section, of because the eye is kind of full of liquid, and so this little front section, sometimes you can get... Um, edema. Oh my goodness, you are crazy. I bet this is a handful of a dog at home, huh? Yeah. Usually he's calling. <whistles> so we gotta wait three hours. Finna feed my boy real quick. Right, son. Right, son. He's so patient. I love that little boy. He looked good. His eye got better already. But you know, I'm just trying to get it checked up. That's it. Should be something quick. One thing I can say is that <clears throat> when you got a stud, man, you got to go to the best vets. You know, make sure that boy is healthy. You know, and, you know he has seven girlfriends, so you know I'm gonna do everything to make sure my boy's always good. You know, right now he only has seven girlfriends. You know, the stud fees at two thousand. Y'all come tap in if you got a Frenchy female. He's a fluffy carrier with clean ass DNA. He got everything you need, man. I'm telling you. Y'all come tap in. Uh, I'm going to show love, man. I'm going to help you sell puppies. We're going to promote your female on the channel. We're going to do everything. So let us know. We want to keep business A1. It might get a little expensive with them vets, but you know, that's what it costs to be a boss. Man, just last week, though, I ain't going to lie to you. On Lulu, I spent like 500 on the on, at the vet. I'm probably expecting the same today. But it's all good, man. That used to be me. I used to work at Quick Trip, believe it or not. I used to be a 
That used to be me throwing away all the trash, doing all that, being the cashier, all that. I ain't gonna lie, I got fired from Quick Trip. But you know, we doing better now, thank God. God got, you know, uh, another thing with them females, you know, don't cheap out on the progesterone test. Always go to the vet or go, whoever does your PG test, always go spend those $60 on every test. You know, uh, especially when the litter's about to drop, man. A lot of people like to cheap out and just on day 60 of pregnancy, they just go to the vet and open up, you know, they go do the C-section. That's not good. You know, I had a whole litter <clears throat> die because they came out premature. So, and I thought they were fine because they made it to three weeks old and then they all passed away. It was nine puppies. You know, that was crazy. That was my first litter. I learned a lot. Uh, man, just... Don't cheap out when it comes to this stuff, man. You cannot cheap out. Uh, at day 60, go do another PG test. They're called reverse progesterone test when your female's pregnant. You're going to go check uh, how far along she is, and they're going to tell you an estimate about when to uh, do the C-section. They might tell you open her in 24 hours, open her in 12 hours. You know, it all depends. It all goes off progesterone numbers. So if she's at a three or below, they usually are okay to open her for the C-section, you know? That means they won't come out premature. Same thing with the C-sections. Don't try to find the cheapest vet. Go find whoever is the most experienced because I had a buddy of mine that he went to this cheap vet that was in, you know, he just looked around and see who had the best prices. And man, they ended up leaving one puppy inside of his female and they never took out the placenta. So, you know, you got you to gotta make sure those vets know what they're doing because he almost lost his mama. He lost the puppy. You know, that's just, you could have you could have avoided that, you know, doing a little research and spending a little bit more money, you know, going with a real professional. You know, not all vets are uh, certified in breeding, uh, C-sections, stuff like that. You know, it's a different side of uh, vets. It's a different side of, uh, you know, veterinary work what's up son what's up son but yeah more of the story is if you cheap out it's probably gonna go bad you know and you might end up spending more money because imagine he lost the mama if you lose the mama man you're out of luck bro that's it for you know and, and that's an unfortunate situation because I know how it feels to lose a dog man that it sucks this is the queen of the camp right here Like, this is what your life like. Try to live your life right. People really know the yeah. but it's like type right. This is like a movie, but it's really very lifelike. Every single night, right? Every single fight, right? I was looking at the grandma and I don't know. Say she, say she with my ass, can't get no name to the